for many years, I should have been listening to Kirby. And what I mean by this is using property management. <laughs> so recently I just uh, used a property manager and I told Kirby, I said, man, this is, what is it that I said that this is like a, a cheat code to life because mm -hmm. property management, long behold, handles everything needed. Um, now, Kirby, did you think I would have, I mean, eventually, yes, I think I would have needed property management, but did you think that it was a wise decision or a bad decision, me going in initially with just managing a multifamily property myself? Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't bad for you to go initially and manage uh, properties yourself. I mean, because then you know all the nuances, the headaches and everything that is going on. I mean, earlier on, I said, hey, Alex, you might want to get property management. Alex had this uh, belief that, oh, no, you got to have like 50 properties before you go get property management. <laughs> um, just so everybody know, I started getting property managed after my third property. And of course, it was out of state. But that's when I started doing property management. And uh, we always talk about this. The most valuable thing is not the money. The most valuable thing is the time. And the time that it takes you for every leak, door break, you know, hinge, hinge, I mean, door come off the hinge or whatever, and you having to go fix that. It's just sucking up your time. It's depending on the distance that you are from the actual property. I mean, it's the same thing if you outsource all of the labor. You got to go call handyman, see which one is available, and then set up a time and do all that other stuff. Why not just build it into a one-stop shop? That's why whenever I do a deal, no matter if I'm managing myself or not, I always factor in property management. I factor in property management before I do the deal. If I got to do it, if I got to do the property management, I'm still want to get paid for doing the property management. But of course, I'm outsourcing it. But that's that is the cheap code to life. I mean, there's nothing wrong if if people want to go and manage their own properties. I actually recommend it for the first one if you can get it at a relatively close distance to where you live, because then you understand what's going on. You understand what nuances and things that's going on, like Alex. Like you call me and tell me, hey, this like the dish, the uh, garbage disposal thing. And I was like, hey, yeah, just tell them to go do this. I wouldn't have known that if I 100% had property managers the whole time. The only reason why I knew it because I managed properties myself. But it gives you the nuance and understanding. And and then so when property managers may call you with the issue that you might have to call a handyman for, but hey, did they try this first? Did they try this first before you go out there and have to put the bill for a lot of different things? But managing properties starting off early is good just to have the understanding to understand what's good, what they're going through. But after that, I'm I'm outsourced king. I need my time back. Yeah, no, it's very convenient uh, using property management. I think especially because it's a multi-family property out of state. One that's, I mean, even if it was close to me, it'd be the same scenario because you're still going to get phone calls. You're still going to get problems. And um in this particular case, it just worked out better for me um, to, because it involved a uh, it evolved, involved a eviction, and I think you know the 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 headache of trying to go out of state to handle that and deal with the court. It's like it's very inconvenient. Like we talked about, just to do one minor thing as far as cleaning the unit would have taken me four hours up the time of cleaning four hours back. I mean, it's like it would have totaled up to, you know, 10, 12 hours for just cleaning a unit rather than outsourcing, you know, something like that. So I think it's very convenient to go into property management and I could definitely see the benefit to being able to grow more and faster and more efficiently using property management because you can just focus on the financial part and focus on acquiring deals and that's it. Yeah, and that's and that's what it's all about is people want the whole goal of hitting that magical retirement is people want to retire because they want that 40 hours a week back. That's why they want to retire. If they didn't care about working, like, yeah, I'm just going to work till I'm dead. If everybody thought like that, then property management is not needed. But if you plan on building a big portfolio of rental properties, and then you leave your job just to spend another 40 to 60 hours a week 
manage your rental properties, what's the difference? So, but again, starting off, I, I think everybody should start manage at least one just to see the headache. I mean, actually, I still personally manage two that's right around the corner from me, but I outsource a lot of a lot of stuff with that. But I personally manage them. I probably gonna get like one or two phone calls a year from them. But but when I first started off, I was getting phone calls like every other week. I'm putting on my little handy dandy tube belt and I'm going over there getting stuff done. And then actually a couple weeks ago, I just went over there and, and did a couple of small tasks, but uh, it gave me the, the beginning knowledge of, Hey, what particular problems that come up, that come up often, how to mitigate those problems, uh, ways to fix it. And now when property managers call, it's the easy, it's the easy understanding of what's going on. It can, tr I can translate or relate to what they're saying. Like, okay, this happened, this happened. Okay, this is how we fix it. And then we just move on and go on. But the key for me is is acquiring properties. That's what I'm good at. I'm good at acquiring properties. I'm not good at sitting there listening to everybody's woe is me story. I'm not good at taking millions of phone calls a day talking about, hey, we need this fix. We need that fix. We need this fix. And I don't have time for all that. And it's taken away from what my main objective is. And that's to grow the business. When you take away from the time to grow the business, because eventually... I want to be able to divorce myself from any obligation that's not something I want to do. So that's why I shoot for the goal to keep growing the business. So I don't have to keep working and giving my hours up to people and things that I don't want to do. Tell them you said, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you have any comments, let us know, especially if you're a real estate investor, let us know if you use property management, uh, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.